Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs and today I'm sharing with you two Savage Land Storm DXA Design Garage Kits that I just painted up for some people. Now, this is kind of cool because you get to see these side by side. Uh, they're both legs are attached so you can't swap out the loincloth or the bikini designs on these because the clients that wanted these was like, you know what, I just want my bikini version and the other one's like, I just want the loincloth version which is kind of good in a sense that it makes life a little bit easier than adding all the magnets but you still got to get all the paint between the legs once you attach them so it's a little bit tricky there. Uh, but it worked out pretty well. So what we'll do is we'll start out with the loincloth version first and then we'll go on to the bikini version with the leopard skin. But we'll get a little bit close right now so you guys can kind of see the difference of them. So just by changing that loincloth or bikini, it really changes up the statue a lot as you can see. And the bases are sort of similar because they wanted them to be more of a beach scene. Uh, they're not exactly the same. You can see the one on the right's got a little bit darker rocks on the bottom while the one on the left is a little bit lighter. Uh, the one on the right's got a little bit more darker greens in some of the roots, and the other one doesn't. So I try to always change them up from base to base, statue to statue, but it also kind of work with the statue itself in color. So, all right, we'll uh, set up the bikini uh, version after we do the loincloth, and we'll go from there. All right, so here's the loincloth version. Uh, this one's a little bit different than the past ones I've done. So you can see the outfit's a little bit more on the tanner side. It's not as light. So the hair pops out a little bit more, uh, you know, she's a little bit more of a lighter version and stuff as well. Uh, red gems, red uh, rocks uh, around the waist area with some blacks and grays. And uh, this one is pure white eyes in her. And also the hair's got a little bit of a gray tint, but works out pretty well. Earrings are not attached as of yet. That's one of those things I got to kind of work with the client to see if he just wants to keep them loose or if uh, attach them only because I have a funny feeling if we try to attach them, they could snap and break. It's better to maybe be just loose because they kind of clip in very well. So as you can see, the gems and the jewelry, it's kind of like a patina look. So it's kind of, uh, I think it's a titanium silver and then it's got uh, like a brownish wash around it, so it makes it look a little bit older and not as shiny, which is kind of a good take on her. Uh, so you can see around here, we get you guys a nice booty shot for her. So you can see how that works out really great. Uh, the gems are all red, so it's kind of like a chrome silver with clear red over it. And you can see as far as the base goes, uh, you know, just basically a lighter base. So even if she goes next to the Savage Land Storm, if they have it in their collection, it's kind of more of the beach scene than the actual, like, you know, in the deep woods, like the Rogue. So uh, you can pretty much see how things are working out with that. So that is a loincloth version for someone. So let's get on to the bikini leopard skin version. All right, so here is the leopard skin version, and I think this version is actually a lot more fun to do. Uh, I actually am f a fan of the bikini version more than the loincloth, uh, as the sculpt-wise, uh, not as far as the paint-ups and looks. I just kind of like that version a little bit better. But this was actually a lot of fun only because the client wanted to change things up and have something a little bit different. So instead of doing like the white or the grays or greens type of loincloth that's torn, he wanted to have more of a leopard skin and change things up. So that's why I always tell people, if you have a garage kit out there or a statue and you're gonna redo it, brainstorm with either the person you may be having do it for you or if you got a couple friends or other people and you wanna try it yourself, you know, have some fun with it. Come up with something else for your uh, collection. You know, it doesn't always have to be exactly like the comics. You could do your own what if and just change things. So this is a little bit of a leopard skin. A little bit tricky. Uh, basically, the first version I did, uh, the client really wasn't a fan of how light it was. He wanted a little bit more orangey and red. So I went back in and had to kind of rework some of the colors and then rebuild some of the details of the leopard skin again. But once we got it to where he wanted to, it worked out pretty good. So, uh, of course, all the gems uh, are pretty much oranges and blacks and browns. So this way you guys uh, you can see how it kind of blends together. Nice little booty shot for you as well. And it uh, works out pretty good. Really great sculpt. Sheridan did a great job on this. Uh, DXA Designs had a great design as well. So you can see as far as the base goes, it is separate from the Savage Land uh, Rogue. Uh, it's kind of more beach scene looking. So it works out pretty good. Something a little bit different. Uh... You know, just to change the pace. But uh, let me know what you guys think of them. I uh, had a lot of fun. 
something different as far as superhero looks go and it doesn't even have to be savage land storm it could just be a female in the beach uh just chilling or in the jungle you know just if you like the kit and that's what you want so let me know what you guys think thanks for watching and we will be back with some more videos